In this lesson, Volume of Prisms, we'll show you how to calculate the volume of different types of prisms. First, we'll find the volume of a rectangular base prism having a length of 4 centimeters, a width of 2 centimeters, and a height of 3 centimeters. You can think of finding volume as trying to determine how many cubic centimeters would fit inside the three-dimensional object. A cubic centimeter is about the size of a sugar cube. For our rectangular base prism, we would have eight cubic centimeters that would fit in the bottom layer. Another eight cubic centimeters would fit in the middle layer. And a third eight cubic centimeters would fit on the top layer thus giving us 24 cubic centimeters that would fit inside. We could come up with this number easier if we simply multiplied the numbers together. 4 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters, giving us the same answer of 24 cubic centimeters. We could find the volume of any rectangular base prism by simply multiplying the three dimensions together. Volume would equal length, times width times height. We could further generalize this formula by thinking of length times width as being the area of the base of our rectangular prism. This formula would work for any prism. Let's try it in our next example. How much water would a triangular base trough hold with a width of 40 centimeters, a height of 30 centimeters, and a length of 2 meters? Notice in our diagram, one of the first things we did was converted 2 meters to 200 centimeters. When you're doing volume or surface area, you must have the same units for all your dimensions. We'll now use our formula to calculate the volume of this trough. Area of base times height. The base is a triangle, and we know its area is found by multiplying base times height divided by 2. It's 40 times 30 divided by 2, which is 600 centimeters squared. We need to multiply this by the height of the prism, 200 centimeters. So our volume is 600 times 200, 120,000 cubic centimeters. A cubic centimeter is also the same as one milliliter. If we have 120,000 milliliters and divide it by 1,000, that would give us 120 liters. And that's how much water this trough would hold. What is the volume of a cylinder with a diameter of 6 meters and a height of 10 meters? We'll use our formula for the volume of a prism, area base times height. And we know for a cylinder, the base is a circle. So the area of the base is pi times the radius squared. For our cylinder, the radius is 3 meters, so the area becomes pi times 3 squared, or 9 pi. Next, we multiply by the height of the cylinder to get the volume. The height of the cylinder is 10 meters, giving us a volume of 90 pi meters cubed as an exact answer, or 282.74 meters cubed as accurate decimal to two places.